Well, thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Sister Lady Smith. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content, and don't forget, if you have a special request video or a celebrity that you want me to expose... Small donation of $5. Donation link, cash up link, description box below. What is Mary J. Blige homo lesbian ass doing in the news today? So Mary, music superstar Mary J. Blige is having a, a bit super queer. Ain't no superstar. Yeah, She's a super queer. Go ahead. A bit of a ch chuckles these days. It turns out that the woman... Mary claims her ex-husband, Ken Du, was cheating with had dumped him. That beautiful alleged former side chick left Ken Du high and dry and had a baby with another man. What goes around comes around. Four years ago, Mary J. Blige filed for divorce from Ken Du Isaacs. An interview a few years later, Mary told the Breakfast Club that Ken Du was cheating on her with her youngest Protege. Hold, so hold, hold your spot right there. Number one. Damn. Can do, yes, he was cheating. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was a whore. That nigga was cheating. Come on, shit. You's a damn. You married to Mary J. Bly. Mary J. Bly is a hip hop star. You know what I'm saying? You know how many hoes you got at your damn fingertip? You damn right, Can do was damn cheating. But guess what? Mary J. Bly was cheating also. Instead, Mary J. Bly wasn't getting receiving rods. She was licking twat. She's a lesbian. You know what I'm saying? Huh? She went on. I don't know if she went on no Megan Stallion, but you know what I'm saying? She's been, you know what I'm saying, licking twat for a long time. Way after them, after she done got with, you know what I'm saying? After she done been with them, Casey, Casey and JoJo. Casey, you know what I'm saying? That's when she ain't never been the same ever since. She was Yeah, she was with KC. KC used to come through Huntington Station, you know what I'm saying, in the red drop top L, uh, uh, SEL, uh, uh, SL 500 bed. So what, Casey from KC? KC, KC from JoJo. Yes, that's that nigga. That, yeah, yeah. That nigga right there. Yeah, yeah. Saw, oh, Hell God. yeah. That nigga. And then Rick Baby J. Blige used to come through the block. You know what I'm saying? I know niggas personally that used to sell crack cocaine. They used to come through the block. And I know niggas personally that you they used to serve them. You know what I'm saying? 100 blocks. Yo, how much you need? You need a slab? What you need? You need a 50 piece? How much you need? You need a 100 piece? Here you go, Casey. You ever met them? Nah, I ain't met, well, I, nah, I ain't met them niggas. Nah, I ain't met them niggas. Nah, I ain't met them niggas. I met, um, I met, uh, Mary J. Bly's mama. Mary J. Bly's mama is still living in Melville. You know what I'm saying? Because my oh, stepfather at the time used to have a, um, a, a ceramic tile company. And, um, he did some work on, on Mary J. Blige Bummer's house. And I was working there at the time. Yeah. But no, nah, I, I ain't met motherfucking Casey and JoJo. No, nah, I, I ain't met Mary J. Blige neither. But I know people that do niggas on the block. Especially that, that club called Boozes. Well, it's not a club. It was a bar called Boozes. You know where, um, you know where 7-Eleven at? What's up? In Huntington? Yeah. Well, across the street. And so that that building over there across the street, uh -huh. it was it used to be called Boozes. It was a bar called Boozes. Right there, them uh, Casey got robbed by one of my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? He got robbed for a diamond ring that Mary J. Bly gave to him and fifteen hundred dollars. I didn't know that was taken. 
Hell yeah, them niggas so, used to live down in the motherfucking village. So the story says, according to Mary, she asked Ken Dude to stop the relationship. And when he refused, she filed for divorce. MTO News can now confirm that Star, Star Shell 37 and Ken Dude 52 are no longer together. Star Shell has dumped Mary's ex and living her best life with her new man. Maybe now that Ken Dude has no longer connected to Mary J. Blige, he served little purpose. Either way, Star Show has found the love of her life, according to her Instagram. Star pair. Show? Who is Star Show? Star Show. That's a girl. Oh, okay. Go ahead. The pair recently got married. The couple also have a child together. He has some pics of her and her new baby. This. So all okay, this... Her age and living the best life. Look at... So it yeah. seemed to me, this whole news story is about promoting this... Girl that Ken do used to be with. Yeah. So you know what that tells me? Being that this whole story, whole news report, is about promoting the girl that Ken do cheated on uh, uh, Mary J. Blige with. You know what that tells me? That tells me that, oh, what do we have next that's coming out for this woman right here? She ain't coming out in the news for nothing. She, I won't be too surprised if she the one that got her publicist to put this news report out. Because Ken Do don't need no publicity. He's motherfucker them known for being with Mary J. Blige. And Mary J. Blige ain't don't need no publicity. She's Mary J. Stupid. But go ahead. That's all. Oh, Lord. Well, there you have it. Damn, Mary J. Blige. Ken Do. You know what I'm saying? Ken Do. Can do is retarded. You know what I'm saying? Shit, you, you with Mary J. Blige and motherfucker them. That's you. That's the best you can do. The best you can do can do is you could have hid everything that damn you. You know what I'm saying? You could have hid your infidelities. Shit, you gonna fuck up a cat's cow like Mary J. Blige to go with somebody who ain't worth a damn? I don't know. Anyway, that's what happened when you're dealing with the, Bab the world of Babylon, people. The world of freaking Babylon. Um, you said that was it? Yeah. All right. There you have it. Damn Ken Do's ex. Motherfucker damn done went and messed with somebody else. And now she's flowing her stuff on the catwalk. Anyway, this news. I want to thank you for tuning in logging on to another episode of Luminary News Hour. Right here on Luminary Radio. I am your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. My co-host is Sister Lady Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. And, um, let's see what else. I'll tell you. Oh, yeah, don't forget, if you want to, uh, if you have a news report or a celebrity that you want me to expose, very easy. Small donations of $5. Donation link, cash out link, in the description box below. Till next time. Oh, don't forget, if you want to join my exclusive Facebook Messenger group, you can do so by sending me a friend request to my Facebook page, which is PSTR, Michael Smith on Facebook, and I'll add you to the group. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.